Welcome to Stoneham, Massachusetts, a small community of 22,000 inhabitants established in 1725, located only a few miles north of the city of Boston. Hi, I'm Paul Maisano, and we're here to talk about various issues regarding the infrastructure of Stoneham. This could apply to any community. In particular, we're looking at the gas infrastructure, or as some would say, the lack of it. The nation is transitioning to natural gas over the next 10 to 15 years. And Stoneham, Massachusetts is going to take careful examination of where they are today, where they were yesterday, and where they wish to be in the future. In the 50s and the 60s, this one provides people. Now, we understand that there are many infrastructures within our public roadways. Bridges, asphalt, sewer water, underground utilities such as electric and gas. However, we believe that the gas infrastructure in all communities needs to be looked at carefully. There have been a number of failures in Springfield, Mass, and even most recently in New York City with the devastation of over two city blocks and the deaths of a dozen people. 50 injured. It's time for America to look at its gas infrastructure network because the delivery of this fuel, a fuel that is going to be incorporated into the future of this nation's energy source and energy usage, has to be safe. And that's where we're going to go first. We're going to look at a little history relative to where the gas has been and what we can use it for. But more than anything, most assuredly, it has to be transmitted in a safe manner. There have been a lot of myths about gas being dangerous, and yes, it has been in the past, where there have been results of many deaths over history. But we have a decaying old infrastructure of cast iron pipes and weakened joints. And it's time that all communities and all utility companies pay special attention to this network because we can deliver the option of a hydrocarbon, a cleaner fuel to our people, to our communities in a safe manner. We're going to investigate first the history of gas with the usage, and then we'll move forward into how we can deliver this vapor. CNG, compressed natural gas for our vehicles. The United States has always enjoyed low gasoline prices and this has caused us not to develop natural gas fuel vehicles. CNG, we need to build more facilities to service our fuel of the future, natural gas. There currently are many fueling facilities throughout the United States, but these need to be expanded to service the natural gas hybrid vehicles being built today. Clean energy at half the cost, half the emissions, Already, large companies such as Waste Management is transitioning their fleets to natural, clean, compressed gas. UPS, buses from the public systems throughout the nation are considering and have evolved into clean, natural gas fuel of the future. It's time that we examine this for our vehicles, for smaller businesses. What we need to do is we need to look at this issue, equip our streets and our residential properties with the ability and option to go with gas. It's a safe fuel. If the piping is upgraded and maintained and constantly inspected, we won't have problems. We'll have benefits. I'm Paul Maisano on the issues.
down. Never mind that. Where's the gas shut off? Yeah.